Kira McGinney, he's obviously announced that he'll be staying on as our ma manager. It definitely went down to the war, went down to a vote of all the clubs in our ma. We've obviously seen this happen a couple of times down the years in, in multiple uh, other counties. Obviously, it happened with Andy McEntee a couple of seasons back um, as well. And it went down to the clubs again this time around. And they did vote to, to, to keep him on. Uh, so McGinney is staying on as our ma senior football manager for another season uh, he's the longest serving inter-county manager in Gaelic football now obviously with the fact that Colm Collins has stepped away so thoughts on uh, McGinney sticking around for another season is it the right wrong decision should they have made a change but as some people have said like I, I, I don't think a change wouldn't have been a bad decision but then again who, who would you bring in that's the that's the big question I suppose he is the big question, and what I would say, a lot of Armagh fans have been complaining about this, saying that he's won nothing and things like that, but what I would say to Armagh fans, be careful over what you wish for. When you look at Beguini, he's actually brought Armagh from Division 3 to nearly the top of Division 1. I know they got relegated in Division 1 this year, year but they're outright favourites to go up next season again for Division 2. So mm. why is that? Because we're an elite-level team. And I think McGinney deserves more credit than what he's getting. Actually, I did. I, this will be released in the next few weeks. Um, a few stats from um, the Intercounty Championship this season. But in terms of least point defeats this season, Armagh are joint third, only behind Galway and Dublin. Dublin obviously no defeat. Galway only one point. Armagh, their biggest defeat this season was two points against Tyrone. They aren't far away. They've lost two penalty shootouts. And I just think. I think McGinney's doing a better job than people kind of give him credit for. When you look at the players that are there for Armagh at the moment, like Green O'Neill, like Rory Grubin, like Aidan Farker, they wouldn't have got the levels they have got without here McGinney in charge over the last few seasons. He's definitely developed them Armagh players to a level where they could compete with um, the likes of Tyrone, over Donegal, the likes of Derry, the likes of Kerry and the likes of Dublin. That's why, because he's kept them players being consistent year after year after year, consistently good performances. Reen O'Neill, let's be honest now, Reen O'Neill wouldn't have been probably a household name. He wouldn't have been named as a household name in his early years in 2019, possibly, or even 2020. But Kieran McGeady got more belief into Reen O'Neill and now he's a household name throughout the country. Why is that? Because Kieran McGeady has got belief into these players and to work around with Conor Torbett as well. Look, he wasn't really a standout player for Arma over the last few seasons, but McGeady is still confident into him this season. He did very well at the start of the championship. There is potential for Arma to develop. I just think there's a few small things. Penalty shootouts is the one thing. And I will say this from Arma. It's not McGeady's fault that, you know, they, they can't take penalties. That's down really to the players in general. Practice penalties on the, the you know on the training pitch. You've lost three penalty shootouts. There must be something wrong here. It has to be clicking something. Something is wrong. And actually, their only championship defeat against Tyrone, they weren't noting as well, they went down to 14 men after Reno O'Neill got sent off. They were four, They were down to 14 men, and that was their only loss of the season. They aren't far away, Arma. I really don't think they're far away. They topped the group. They beat Galway. They only lost to Tyrone because of that sending off to Reno O'Neill. Westmead, but we look at Westmead. I know a lot of people questioned Armagh for the performance against Westmead, but look at what Westmead did against Tyrone and Galway. Then Armagh would say, Look, Westmead, you have to give the credit, they did very well this season and deserve their plaudits. Armagh got to the quarter final as top seeds for a reason because they were the best in their group with Tyrone and Galway in it. And you know, want to get rid of Kieran McGinney because of that. Look, I just think Monaghan were the better team, they just wanted them more in the quarter final. That's just no issue from uh, Kier McGinney's point of view. Like, Kier McGinney was all revved up. I don't think the Armagh players were as revved up as Kier McGinney in that game. And that's my honest opinion on this. I would have said this afterwards, just reactionary and stuff like that. I would have said probably it's his last year. But having looked at the statistics, having looked at Armagh's run this year, I just think it's down to the players at critical moments. I don't think they've done Kier McGinney justice. And I just think he's taken them such a far distance that it'd be just ridiculous to bin him now. You know, Armagh are so close to maybe the promised land in all order to be going to the final. And let's not forget, Armagh fans, I feel like, I know they, they've been very excited over the last few years, I just feel like in the last few years they've been very, very entitled. 
they've won one All Ireland, two thousand and two. Like what? What more do you expect from Armagh when you have the likes of Dublin, Kerry, Derry, the animal they are under uh, under Rory Gallagher over the last few seasons? You look at Mayo, you look at Galway, have all more better tr- or, um, uh, traditions than Armagh do. So, like, I, I actually don't know what Kieran McGinney can do to win the fans. Probably, it's probably to win the All Ireland, but I just think with the likes of Dublin, with the likes of Kerry, with the likes of Mayo, realistically, are Armagh going to win the All Ireland in the next two years with a new manager? They'd probably be further off than, than when McGinney was there if they got rid of him. So, I'm, in my opinion, I think it was the right move for Armagh to keep him. We'll see next season how he performs. If they don't reach a quarterfinal next year, I think it's time for them to go. But this season, and having looked at the statistics, I think it was probably the right move from the Armagh clubs to keep him on. Yeah. Is there an argument, though, at the same time, that they are playing quite within themselves? Like, I do agree with you to a certain extent. I think, like, McGinney has overall, when you look at where he's brought Armagh, like, when he took over Armagh, like, they were, uh, you know, a million miles off where they are right now. And I think when you look at, you know, the fact that they have been losing in penalty shootouts and everything else. But at the same time, like they, they've been losing a lot of those penalties. It, it's been getting to penalty shootouts because Armagh have sort of lacked game management. They've lacked killer instinct in, in the closing stages. And the fact that McGinney's been there so long and that still hasn't come, like that, that would be my worry from an Armagh perspective. Like they have, for me, they have a quality team from Rian O'Neill, Charlie O'Burns, Ethan Rafferty has come on obviously he's looking like he might be out now next year and um, with, with with an injury but you've got you've got a lot of great players Stefan Campbell um you know Rory Grugan these lads you've got Connor Turba coming through Ross McQuillan as well a lot of very very good players and I think like you would look at it and think like what what is what is the potential with this team I suppose it's one of them we won't know until another manager comes in but you could argue that maybe their style of football is what's frustrating the fans I think because they do look like they're playing within themselves a lot of the time. It kind of frust- and I think you remember this, Aaron. It kind of frustrated me at the start of the year as well that they were actually playing defensive football because Armagh were probably the most exciting team last year. Like I support Cork, you support Dublin, but everybody's second team last year, who was it? It was probably Armagh because of the way they played football, the way they played on the front foot in general, and they were absolutely brilliant. But I just think. Having thought about, I think the way Kieran Mulaney has to win the Armagh fans is probably to win an Ulster title because they haven't won one since 2008. Getting to a final this year was probably a good step in the right direction, but they need to go on and win it next year now. But Derry will be a tough note to crack. They were very close to carrying the semi final, so that'll be tough in its own right. But what I will say, I know they play within themselves and I know penalty shootouts and stuff like that and our Armagh fans are disappointed they don't get as further as they hope with very good players in the team. But a very good example, and this is involving Kieran McGinney, Kildare. Look at when Kildare got rid of Kieran McGinney. What did Kildare actually do since then? 2014, did nothing really. 2015, okay, they beat Cork, a Cork team that got close to Kerry, but then they get slaughtered by Kerry and grow apart. Kildare weren't really competitive until when? 2017? That's yeah. what the effect uh, that can do. Kildare, Kildare then were in a similar position to where I'm at or now. So this is what my point is. I just think it'd be ridiculous for I'm at to get rid of Kieran McGinley now when they're on the cusp of maybe something special over the next few years. I just think a few tweaks. Go attack next year. I know defensively it does work to a certain extent and things like that, and it worked to frustrate Kerry down in Tralee, and it worked to frustrate the likes of uh, Galway or any other team in Division 1. But ultimately, that's not going to win you games. What won our mad games last season in 2022 was when they went to the front foot, front foot, excuse me, case in point. Remember against Tony Gall in the, quali- in the fourth round qualifier? They win the ball straight from the midfield, they kick it into Rory Grugan back in the net. That was our man in a nutshell last season. They played on the front attacking football. That's what they need to do next season. But I just think if they are going to have a new manager in charge, the, the work done by here in the beginning over the last few years to get our man to the position that they were, that they are in the last few years, being competitive in Crow Park will be wiped. Because what, what will the manager actually bring next season? Who else could you, and you mentioned at the start of this discussion with Beginning, 
Who could you bring in as our man manager? McConville's with Wicklow. You can't bring him in. McAtee's with Sligo. Can't bring him in. Who, who honestly would you bring in as our man manager? Aaron Curran, I don't think, has he's proven enough. Look, I know Joe Curran's a bit over the hill. So I, I honestly don't know who our man could replace, have an adequate replacement to replace Kieran McGeady. But I want to know um, our man's thoughts on the Kildare situation in 2013 when they got rid of uh, Kieran McGeady in general. Because once Kildare got rid of him, Kildare weren't as competitive as they hope to be. And that's where our man would have been if they'd been Kieran McGinley this season. That's just my honest opinion. I think they are closer than what people um, describe them to be. But I just think a few tweaks will be, be, be needed to get them up to the next level next season. Yeah, like could could you argue though, like with that Kildare side, like they they had they did have a very good team and they were sort of built off the, the sort of early two thousands and you obviously still had some lads playing in there from the ninety eight team and everything else. Um and and even in twenty ten, in fairness, they actually got beat by by Loud in the Leinster Championship and went the the long way eventually to you know to, to get to an all or semi final. Not downplaying the achievement in any way, but Look, I think, yeah, like I'll, I'll just run through some uh, some comments here. Maybe Yonder says McGinney is too negative in the court final against Monaghan. Reno O'Neill spent a large proportion of the game in the half back line. Absolutely ridiculous. Get him out and the positive manager in. Um, Shawnee says McGinney is holding them back too cautious. The Derry or Monaghan uh, would do, uh, but Derry or Monaghan manager maybe means there would do a better job with them. Uh, and the McNulty says, uh, says Tom O'Keen. I mean, it's it's see, it's a tough one because it, like I think the the worry is that he's just been there for for a while. Like, and to be fair, I suppose like you you kind of look at it in two parts. Like Armagh have only really been a contender, like obviously not a serious contender, but a team that's getting to a quarter finals and. You know, competing at you know in Division One for for about two three years now. So maybe you look at it and think one more season. If there's not an improvement this year, then maybe you you make a decision. But I would just worry at the same time that I think like they you know I I look at them and I don't think they're getting the best out of their players. I don't think this current management are getting the best out of out of their players. Even the likes of Ryan O'Neill, uh, you know Stephen Campbell with the way that they're playing at the minute, but. Look, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I think they just need to find balance. Like last year, they were very attacking. They shipped in a lot of goals, obviously, at the other end. And I think that's why they've gone full circle. They just need to find balance. Look at Dublin and Kerry. I know they have much you know, b- bigger panels, bigger pick of players and everything else. But those teams have balance. Even when Toronto won the All-Ireland a couple of years ago, they had balance between attack and defence. And I think that's what Armagh need to find going into next year. And probably the advantage for our man next season, and people don't play this as well, they're in Division 2 where they're clearly the best team in it. So they could put out maybe a few B uh, players, maybe a few um, fringe players, give them a bit of experience, and they'll still top Division 2 with ease. A bit like Dublin and Derry this season. Because our man, let's be honest, our man probably well clear of everybody else in Division 2. So that's the luxury that our man had next season. And they could go full throttle then in the Ulster Championship. So I think, honestly, if McGee is staying on next year, I think I, I totally agree with you. If our man don't do something miraculous next season, like reach an all the semi final, win an Ulster title, one of those two, I think if McGee doesn't do any of those two, I think he's gone. But if, if he does, then we could come back to this video and say, I was right. You know, that, that's... That's the thing with um, you know, this this um, reappointment with uh, McGinney in general. So, like, I just I just think it was the right decision to keep him on. There's no point in stalling a project when you're just in the middle of it. Like, our man haven't been contenders. I don't know. Like, they were contenders in the last two years, but when you look at the years beforehand, 2021 and 2020 are right off really. They're COVID championships. 2019 they got beaten by Mayo as a young raw team. In McHale Park. 2018, okay, they were a raw enough team against Ross Common as well. Ross Common were just more experienced on the day in Port Leash then. Like Armagh have gained a lot of ground over the last two years, and you're just gonna wipe that out to get rid of your manager. You're just gonna go back to square one then. That's my point. Now I just think McGee needs to stay on another season. If it's another quarter final appearance and only the quarter final, then I think. 
it's it's probably time for him to go. But I just think for now, he needs one more season to prove what he can really do with this Arma team. Yeah, like if it, if it hadn't been up to me, ultimately, I probably would have looked at it and thought that does look like maybe a change would, would have been the best decision. Like I think maybe someone even like a Maliki or Ruhr coming in could have done a, a very good job there um, or, or, or some, someone else of that nature. But at the same time, I can understand why, why they have kept them on. And ultimately, look, I think next year is, is going to be the decisive year. I think if they don't get past a quarter final. Um, and they're not competitive. And look, also it's going to be very difficult. There's obviously a lot of very good teams in there. But I think if they're not, if the, if there's no progression next year, I think I think they will look to to make a decision.